Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty. Today I am working on a 9 by 12 canvas and I am doing my black and red series. Um, this time I'm actually going to try to do, I know it's a small canvas, but um, I am going to do a little mini lip and drag, hopefully. I'm a little person and I love tiny things, little things, all that, all that good stuff. So I am working with Brilliant Red by Soho. Well, I, yeah, my gloves are dirty. I've been working a lot. All right, so, and Lamp Black from Creative Inspirations. Okay. So here's my little cup, my little two ounce adorable cup. My paints are mixed with, um, it is one part paint, two parts flow trawl, and a little bit of water to get it to the consistency that I like. Um, so, I've, I've seen only one color done on a flip cup or on a flip and drag before by Miss Christina Welch. I think she did a, um, what was it? I think she used Payne's Gray, I think, which came out awesome. But I'm going to use black and red because somebody had asked me to do some black and red. Um, let's see, let me get one of these. Um, so yeah, I've been, this is my black and red series. So I'm going to start with, because I've already got black, I mean, you know, duh. So I want to do red, but just a little bit of black going across. Just for a little bit of something. So I'm just going to pour, hopefully it's going to be, I don't want to do a whole lot of black, just maybe a little. And I did not spray my little cup. I do not have any silicone here. So, I hope I have enough. Let's see. Yeah. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. And hopefully top that off with red. I don't know how much um, I would need for for this size. So for a flip and drag, got my paint in my little cup. I'm gonna try to smack it right in the middle. Try. Ta-da! All right. Let that sit for a minute because I did not spray it with the WD-40 silicone spray, which helps it release, helps the paint release from the cup very easily. Um, I did not do that because I really did not want um, any cells or additional cells. I've not done a, a flip and drag without cells before, so... This will actually be a first for me. So, you see a little bit coming out. It is going to take a little bit longer for it to um, pull out. This is just a little. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this comes out because it's it's little. Like normally you would do it on a a longer canvas or a bigger canvas. 
Right. So I know I just brought over a push pen. And of course I have oh got it. Thought I lost it. All right. So I am going to <laughs> I'm going to poke a hole in the cup to release. Oh my gosh, the pressure. Wow, that is a tough, wow, a tough little guy there. Wow. All right, so you can see it coming out. So I'm just going to drag it this way and then I'm going to drag it the other way without scraping the canvas. Hopefully. I'm just going to wiggle it a little bit just so I can see where I'm at here. And you can really, you can really feel where the paint is. Like I can feel quite a bit there. So, take it off the edge. See, even with no silicone, you can see, you know, I hope you can see the little cells popping up. So, I think normally on a bigger canvas, if you've scraped your canvas or you have too much color in one spot, you would want to um, take your cup, knock off all the paint that's around it, like get it all off there. And then whatever color your base paint is, you want to um, dip it in that base color and then, and then put it back in here and just lightly drag that color through. But um, I think I'm okay here. I, I don't see any place where I scraped the canvas, and I think the color is okay. I think I am going to um, uh, tilt it just a little bit. Let me. I have so much paint on my thing here. I've done so many. So I'm going to just come over this way a little bit. I hope I don't drop it. Like this way. I'm going to come this way. Stretch it just a little bit. Maybe a little bit this way. All right. Kind of like this other edge over here, so I'm not going to really mess with that. And now, the fun part, I get to use my airbrush. Yay! Don't wipe my hands. Should probably scorch first. Oops. All right. Scorch it. Get all the bubbles out. Okay. See all those cells popping up, and there's no silicone in, in anything. So, time for the airbrush. 
I love using this. If you guys don't have one, then you should really get one. If you're scared to use one, don't be. I was I was scared, but just there's really nothing to it. It doesn't throw out a lot of air. I think it's like 25 psi. So it's it's not much. And you know, you just hold it like a pen. Um, Christina Welch had has done tutorials on it. Um, but yeah, it's just it's, it's really easy. So all right, I'm going to blow some of this out. Basically, at this point, you're just kind of, <clears throat> as you're blowing it out, you're seeing what's developing, and that's giving you an idea as to what you what you want to see or what you're liking. So. <laughs> Brushes. If you like what you get after you um, do your flip and dry, then you don't have to airbrush it. I just like to get these little frillies, and with this color, it kind of looks like flames. So that's, I mean, you, you 
really make your own judgment as to what you like. are a lot of times that when you do start blowing it out, whether you have one or several colors, you could, um, when you blow it out, you could, the colors could be underneath. So when you blow it out, you see all the colors that you've had on there. That's, that, that also happens. So by blowing it out, you could get more of your colors to, to come through. And um, and all that. So uh, let's see. Um, I think maybe I think it looks kind of cool that way. But I can't really. I mean, this right here, you guys. I don't think you can really see it but it does come up right here. Um, it just gets lighter, but right here, I think I'm gonna try to get more to come out. Torch it one more time. Not sure if there's going to be anything else to come up because I don't have silicone, but this is, um, I'm popping bubbles if any came back up. Uh, that will eventually pop. So I'm just popping the bubbles, if there are any. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to clean it off, and then I will bring it up for a close-up. And while I am doing this, please subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, Hit that bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Please leave comments. How often should I post a video? You guys think, I normally try every other day, but if you guys think every day, let me know. Um, give me your feedback. Tell me what you think, how I've done. All of that, I will always answer. So. All right, bring this up for you. I think it's pretty cool. I could probably put an eye right there in the center if I, if I could find one. When it's done, that would be cool. So here it is, part of my red and black series. Tell me what you guys think. My little mini flip and drag. I was little too. That's <laughs> really little. Yeah, set it back down. All right. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I will. See you again on the next one. Bye.